What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kyla Trees, I'm back with another video. In today's video, I am going to give y'all some tips and tricks on how to maintain color treated hair. I My hair has been colored once. No, has it been colored twice? My hair has been colored technically twice. So I, I got my hair ombre. Y'all remember I got my hair ombre. Um, like, so it was black at the root, but it was like brown. It was this color at the end. Like it was ombre type of thing. And then I colored it back jet. I colored it jet black. And then I got this color, but the, the jet black was box dye. A lot of people say they don't recommend box dye. Would I color my hair any other color except black with box dye? Hell no. Nah. I'm going to a professional. I ain't got time for that. Especially when it's professionals in my family that can do my hair. Um, no, I ain't playing with that with, with any other color box dye except black. <laughs> <laughs> that is the only color I will do my hair. I will do myself. Um, but yeah, any other color, I'm going to a professional. So, um, I have some tips and tricks that uh, work with color treated hair. Um, so yeah, actually, I just came, I just came up with another one. Okay, so I wrote them all down with my iPad. What's the purpose of having an iPad if you don't use your notes? You know what I'm saying? I got the little, look, 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 look. Let me just, I got the little composition, look, and then I got the pencil. We be writing, we be up in school and this thing. Um, but anyways, uh, yeah. Hold on, what I'm doing? cancel okay um so without further ado let's just get right into this video okay okay so as you can see i got my hair colored clearly all y'all know that i got my hair colored and i got it straightened it's been colored and straightened for a whole month it's been a month since i got my hair colored and straightened um today is august i don't know the date hold on today is august 2nd monday august 2nd um where's my notes okay so i am just going to get right into this video wait i already said that see i be losing track bro i don't be understanding what's going on all right so let's just get right into the tip that's why i wrote everything down because if i don't i'm gonna be talking for far too long so yeah the first one Number one, I would recommend going to a stylist. Highly, highly, highly going to a stylist. Like I said, anytime I've colored my hair, it has been by a stylist, except for when I colored my hair black. That's the only color I trust to do myself because my natural hair color is black, so it really wasn't. And even then, I colored my whole head black, but I really just had to do the tips because my I really just had to do like here from here down that's what I had to color black because my roots were already black um but yeah that is the only color that I will trust myself doing myself but I highly recommend going to a professional I've seen so many hair videos like I've watched so many hair videos where women have actually had to shave their head off because they left it on for too long where they got hot roots and it, it mm, 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 mm. I ain't playing with that color by myself. So I would highly recommend going to a professional, um, especially if you don't know what you're doing and you don't, you're not good with directions and things like that. Like, no, 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 no. I'm not good with directions. I work well when I see stuff being done. That's why YouTube, that's why I go to YouTube a lot uh, for anything. Like if I need help with anything, there's always, there's most likely always a YouTube channel on it. I work well. I'm a visual learner. I can't really... I can read directions and follow them, but I'm a visual learner. So like, like on a little GPS thing, if she, no, that don't really work for me. I have to like see like, oh, okay, turn here, you know, you know. Well, I don't know. GPS is kind of different because you actually can hear what they saying. Like they be like, oh, turn left on, you know what I mean? But um, you're like, just 
regular directions you just sitting down looking at it i don't really do good with well with those um i'm a visual learner so like even okay i'll give you a prime example before i watched before i colored my hair jet black with the box dye i was watching videos on how to do it with the box dye so i already knew what i was doing i didn't have to read the directions because like i said there was a youtube video on how i could do it so with that being said I really didn't have to read the directions because there's a YouTube video. So, like I said, I'm a visual learner, like, you know. So, yeah. I highly recommend going to a professional and getting your color because, no. And especially if your hair is nice and pretty, like, you don't want to mess it up. Just go to a stylist, sis. Um, okay. The next one is washing your hair less. I did not know this when I got my color. I was washing my hair every week, which is why my color was kind of fading fast you know what i mean and i really wasn't taking care of it like i should have been because i didn't that was my first time getting color so now i'm kind of i'm kind of seasoned you know i kind of know what i'm doing now you know what i'm saying um but yes you are supposed to wash your hair less that is so your color can keep as long as possible you know what i'm saying um <laughs> But yeah, it's just so your color can keep as long as possible. Just wash your hair less. So instead of washing my hair every week, I'm going to wash my hair every two weeks. That way my color can keep and it won't fade or look dull or anything like that. Because that is not what I need. My hair tends to hold moisture. Like I really don't have a problem with moisture or anything like that. And when my hair is colored it's high porosity instead of low porosity so yeah i feel like i don't know i feel like my hair will most likely well we'll see when we when i wash out this suppress and go back to curly we'll see because i don't know yet um i have not seen it's been like two months since i seen my curls i got my hair straightened for my birthday in june and then I washed it. I wore that for about a week. I wore my hair curly for about a week. And then I got this. So, yeah. So, yeah. All right. The next tip is, um, I just want to let you know now, color treated hair is not for lazy folks. Like, if you are very, very lazy and you just going to color your hair and put a wig up under it and, and not touch it for two months, you cannot do that. Your hair will break off your hair will break off it has to be moisturized if your hair your hair is more prone to dryness now that you've colored it okay your hair is more prone to dryness it's gonna get dry quicker it's gonna get dry faster and you need to make sure that you are moisturizing your hair so like i said if you just gonna color it and slap it up on a wig and not not do nothing to it that ain't finna work for you it's not you, you is your hair will grow but it will be broke it's gonna break off so yeah if you one of them girls don't even bother don't even try it don't even try it in color because your hair is gonna break off it's not gonna be no okay no um the next tip i would avoid protective styles just because now that your hair is colored that weave you know like braids and stuff like that that weave is very very dry so i would just avoid protective styles i don't protective style anyway because i just don't like protective styling um but i would really avoid protective styles unless you're gonna like dip the hair in some oil and you know just oil the hair um i would avoid protective styles because that dryness that dry knack line hair or kink, kink line hair whatever it's called y'all know what i'm talking about uh beauty supply store dollar hair no that ain't finna work mm -mm. your because your hair is already finna be dry and then you put in that dry ass hair with your dry hair desert don't do that don't do that don't do that don't do that um the next thing deep conditioning deep conditioning is definitely key if you do not so like i said your hair is now colored dry 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 your hair is gonna be more your hair is gonna be drier than usual so you need to make sure you are up on your deep conditionings okay make sure you deep condition 
every time you wash your hair i don't care what these hairstylists are saying okay you do what's best for you but i'm telling you deep condition every time you wash your hair my hair is not color treated i have to do i don't skip okay i used to not i used to like shampoo conditioning and then boom if you do one you don't have to do the other make sure you're putting some type of conditioner on your hair like you need a real treatment you need a real condition a real deep conditioner on your conditioner deep conditioner is not the same things so if you don't feel like your hair needs to be deep conditioned don't do it um but i just deep condition every time i wash my hair now like that's just what I do, you know. Especially since my hair is colored, I'm I'm going to stay on that deep conditioning because we don't need no more breakage. We don't need anything like that. Um, so far I have overcame my breakage in the crown area of my head, and that is how we're going to keep it. Especially because now it's crucial because I have color hair, so I gotta take care of this, you know. Um, yeah. The next tip. So make sure you're deep conditioning. I'm sorry, I be getting all these notifications on my phone. They be texting me. Um, anyways, the next step, moisturize. Moisture, 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 moisture. So typically what I do, y'all will see videos when I do wash my hair, but typically I do the L not the L O C method the lco method so i use a leave-in i use a oil i use a leave-in i use a cream and then i use a oil to seal in the moisture i don't use or actually i don't even do that <laughs> let me tell y'all what i do i'm lying i'm lying i'm lying i lie i just like scratch that scratch that leave-in cream leave-in cream i do the lc method i don't use oil to seal in anything or anything like that i may try it i'll probably try it uh during the winter months but i don't be needing all that you know what i'm saying when i um when i do my hair especially like in the summertime or you know spring it's getting ready to be fall so i may i may have to do that uh lco method but I just use a leave-in cream, twist up my hair, untwist it, and then I be out the door. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's just what I do. I use my, I have a, but I have, okay. My products are moisturizing though. Like the products that I use on my hair, they be moisturizing products. So they're not going to wear your hair down and yeah my hair be keeping moisture with my products like i use the melanin melanin uh hair care line my organics we got some camille rose up there i use thick butters i don't care when i'm like i said i don't care i don't give a damn about what no stylist gotta say about using your thick butters and your thick creams if that's what works for you sis you go ahead on you use that thick ass shit you feel me i don't care about no stylist telling me what to do to my hair you can't tell me what to do to my hair don't tell me what to do <laughs> And then they'd be like, oh my God, she's licensed. She ain't dealing with your hair every day. She's not dealing with your hair every day. You gonna pay her to deal with your hair every day? Oh, okay. Because now that these shops is open, I don't hear nobody talking about it. When we was in a pandemic, y'all was all saying, oh yeah, um, come to come get a consultation because your hair is breaking off because you're using butters and creams. Y'all just needed some money, okay? You needed money. We was going through a pandemic, so you needed money. Yeah, that's yeah. Mm hmm. Oh, okay. But don't nobody want to talk about that. You needed money because you needed money, sis. It's, it's cool. We all needed money. We all, we all, we all, we all needed money. But don't rob nobody of their money. You know what I'm saying? The reason people stopped going to stylists in the first place was so that we could take care of our natural hair ourselves and now that really pissed me off like it really did because first y'all was talking about doing the loc method lco method this loc method that and now y'all saying oh oils and butters don't use them they're bad for your hair <sighs> sitting up here lying which line for which line 
let, let me say something i oil look i <laughs> I use my oils, I still use my butters, I still use my heavy creams, my thick butters, and my thick creams, and my hair is luscious and growing. Don't let nobody tell you to stop doing what's working for your hair. Now, if oils, butters, and creams is not working for your hair, then by all means, try something different. However, if oils and butters and creams are working for your hair, please do not try to change it. I have seen, I have heard plenty of people tell me, Kyla, my hair broke off because I did not put any oil. My hair broke off because I did not use any cream. They have told me this personally. It's a sham. But like I said, everybody's hair is different. Uh you know you know and then it's like i really want to i want you to demonstrate since oils and butters and creams is not good for your hair i want y'all stylists to demonstrate on yourself what you do to your hair daily and weekly And then if oils and butters and creams is not good for your hair, they should not be in your shop. Why are you selling oils and butters and creams if they do not work for your hair? Get it at your shop. Or you can stop lying. You can stop lying. You can't fool me. I'm not as naive as these other females, you know what I'm saying? You can't fool me. Okay? But back to the video, I just had to, it just irks my nerves how some females is actually listening to these stylists and their hair is breaking off and all this other stuff. And then these stylists be right back around, up around in here selling the shit. You selling oil in your shop for what? Oh, uh, anyway, anyway, going back to that, uh, I, that just makes me upset. It makes me upset. The next step less heat i realize <laughs> i realize i got my hair colored and i straightened it but i have not really needed to touch it up um i'll probably touch it up probably like twice but yeah i haven't needed to touch it up or anything like that but um i will recommend less heat the less damage okay the less damage you're trying to do your hair especially if you're worried about like messing up your curl pattern or anything like that less heat just don't use use less heat okay um unless you're deep conditioning i would say you know use heat use like a uh a hot head okay so this is not going to um, give you, you're not going to get direct heat from this and it's not going to burn you. So what you do is you put this in the microwave. This has been my go-to since I got it. Um, Hothead actually sent this thermal, whatever it's called, thermal head cap, whatever. They actually sent this to me and I have used it ever since. I absolutely love this thing for deep conditioning. You just put your little cap on, put your little... Uh, it's got a shower cap on and you go ahead and put this in the microwave and yeah but what's nice about it is it has flax seeds up in here see it has flax seeds y'all hear that so the flax seeds they heat up and this is just one of my favorite things to deep condition like i absolutely love it. and it's silent <laughs> you just put it on it's so silent you don't have to worry about it making no noise or anything like that um that's what i like about it uh using a handheld dryer is just noisy and i can't be concentrated so like when i'm deep conditioning i like to you know be on my ipad or watch a movie or something like that on here and i can't do that if it's a loud ass you know what i'm saying like anybody can deal with that i don't want to deal with that when i'm deep conditioning my hair so i would rather just use this because it's nice and silent and it works 
my heat gets the heat gets distributed and if you feel like you need more heat or if it you know if it cools down you can pop it right back in the microwave put it right back on your head so yeah that is definitely good for deep conditioning that's what i do because that's just what i've been doing and it definitely i've seen a difference like as far as deep conditioning with no heat and deep conditioning with heat i have definitely seen a tremendous difference okay okay the next thing uh color treated products okay so you want to make sure that you have actually i don't like that look i thought it was gonna be cute but it ain't um the next thing is color treated products so you want to make sure that you are using shampoos and conditioners i don't have any right now at the moment because i haven't been washing my hair and my hair wasn't color treated before this so i need to go to the beauty supply store and get me some color treated products but i want like high quality shit does that make sense like i, don't, I ain't getting no bullshit um i'm very picky about what i put in my hair now like especially like to wash it and condition it especially since my hair is color treated um so i need to go to i'll probably go to like ulta and get me some like color some good color stuff because i don't have anything up there in the at this moment because i didn't need it i wasn't I, my hair was black i ain't need it so yeah that's gonna be my money but it'll be all right it'll be all right um so where we got color treated products that's definitely they're so important like color treated you have to make sure you're getting something that says color safe if it don't say color safe it ain't color safe so don't use it unless you don't care about your color like that but if you care about your color color safe products that's what you want color safe products okay okay the next thing is protein treatments okay make sure you are staying up on your protein treatments you can get a protein deep conditioner i have protein deep conditioners um the my my yellow organics okay my yellow organics is literally the only brand i trust with deep conditioners they have great deep conditioners um so i only use my yellow organics when it comes to deep conditioners uh, and my elegance also does have a protein conditioner, the Babasu. I'm looking at it right now. Babasu. I can't see because I ain't got my contacts in. Uh, the words. It's Babasu. It's, you know, it's small white, a small pink container and it's white. You know, yeah, the Babasu, whatever it's called. I, I don't know right now, but the Babasu one. Okay, just see Babasu. Look up Maya Babasu Deep Conditioner and you'll find it. I think it's like $13. Real good. I love that one. Um, Afo G. But that is a deep conditioner. Okay, so you want an actual treatment. Okay, you want you want an actual protein treatment, not a protein conditioner. Both are different. Okay, they're both they're different. Um but the afo g they are a protein treatment and that's what i did not do when i had my color before i did not do a protein treatment i did a protein conditioner which is cool but you need the protein treatment sis so the afo g damn i gotta get that too i gotta get okay uh so i gotta go get color treated shampoo and conditioner and i gotta get the afo g stuff um but yeah i have the afo g deep conditioner great the afo g uh deep treatment mask oh i did a video on that actually my hair was black but i did a video on that real good real good real good real good especially it's great especially after you um none straighten your hair and you want back curly get that get that but afo g stuff real real good like i said learn from my mistakes i never did a protein treatment with my color with my color treated hair before this time around we doing things completely different especially since my whole head is brown now like my whole head we got some actually no 
no but yeah my whole head is brown now so we whole different ball game i'm finna take care of this okay okay um but yeah so the next thing that is it so we had seven tips eight tips um don't y'all hate when hair get in your lip gloss that just pisses me off um but yeah that was my little color treated video um thank you guys so much for watching this video don't forget to like comment subscribe make sure you follow me on instagram also make sure if you have any uh color treated shampoos and con color safe shampoos and conditioners that you want to recommend me please recommend those down below i want it to be it doesn't have to be like expensive expensive but I'm willing to pay a good coin for it. Uh, I don't want no $5 ass products. You know what I'm saying? I want quality stuff with quality ingredients. So if y'all know any, let me know. I know somebody said Olaplex and uh, next, next. Nexus? Next. It's some next. I don't know but yeah somebody said olaplex is really really good and next next something i have to look that up um but yeah let me know some good brands that are good for you know color treated hair color safe uh let me know because i'm looking for a shampoo and a conditioner so yeah that is that has been the end of this video thank you guys so much for watching oh hot oil treatments those are really good too hot oil treatments i did not do any hot oil treatments when i had my color last time whole, like i said a whole different ball game whole different mm -mm. hot oil treatments make sure you do those as well so yeah all right now i'm done thank you guys so much for watching this video don't forget to like comment subscribe make sure you follow me on instagram my instagram is kyle latrice and i will see you in my next video peace